Today we're at Riverside Park for a habitat restoration project or a living shoreline installation. So a living shoreline is a habitat restoration technique that is used on properties that are exhibiting shoreline erosion. That shoreline erosion is usually an effect of continual wave action from boats or storms. With the help of volunteers, students, and adults in the community, we're going to be installing these oyster reef balls to try to prevent that erosion. So in the past, we've used a different type of module for our living shorelines. So the oyster reef balls are a more natural, sustainable option for shoreline erosion. So the goal of the project is really to have this shoreline start growing back and providing a habitat for more organisms that live both on the shoreline as well as in the water to utilize. And so we really foresee this location as being an example for other living shorelines in our area so that we're seeing those improvements that we also desperately want. Yes, sir. <laughs> the lagoon is a high priority for the city. We want to clean up the water, restore wildlife, and restore the lagoon overall. If you live here, you've impacted the environment, and we have a responsibility to restore the lagoon that is continuing to decline if we don't take corrective action. So we want our students to actually be a mechanism for change. Having these experiential learning opportunities to really show their environmental stewardship through action is just very important for our school. The thing that I've learned is a lot of people can get together and make good things happen. You know, I, I consider ORCA part of a long-term investment. This is really working to improve our environment. It's great being out on the water, but working and making the water better is a great way to go.